I think I mean, it. Uh, I think it's important. I think it's important to ask the judge who he represents in the proceedings. Okay, well, that's a fine um, point. Uh, yes. I, okay, so we're done, we're done with Boyd Deer, and we're talking about who the judge represents. Like, well, uh, if, if you, I'm sorry, I'm just jumping in the middle here. If you're talking about Boyd Deer, oh, okay. As, as far so we're as talking about West, well, well, yeah, yeah. Boyd Deer, as far as uh, potential members of the jury against you. I would immediately attack the uh, the statement they signed that said that they were citizens of the United States under penalty of perjury, Absolutely. and I would immediately yeah. ask them if they signed it, and then I'd ask them immediately after, what is it? And right, right. In my experience, yeah, you will have the judge and or prosecutor immediately uh, stop proceedings and clear the courtroom, because they don't want that getting out. It's, it doesn't mean what everybody thinks it means. Wait, hold on. That came know, out of left field real quick. Could you, yeah, could you repeat that? The <laughs> the jurors all have to sign a form that they're citizens of the United States, and they have to sign under penalty of perjury. So if you're going to voir dire jurors, it's important that you ask them what that is. If they sign under penalty of perjury, they have to know. Because why would someone sign something, to a status of some kind or a, a designation if they didn't know factually what it was? And so you have yeah. to ask them, well, you signed uh, under penalties of perjury under oath that you're a citizen of the United States. And they'll, they'll bow their chest and say, yeah. And just look at them and say, well, what is it? Are you asking them to clarify the citizen answer. of the United States? Or are you asking yeah. them to clarify yeah, no, the, the penalty whole of perjury? Citizen, no, citizen of the United States. When your opportunity comes to voir dire the jury, each member... Take the first one and ask them if they signed a document under penalty of perjury they were a citizen of the United States. And they'll answer the affirmative with a big smile on their face. And then you follow it up with, well, what is it? What is a citizen yes. of the United States? You, you signed it. What is it? They're not going to let them answer, guys. No. Well, factually, what is a citizen? No, no, no. You don't even have to go there. You don't have to go there. Citizen of the United States is very specific. It's outlined in Title 18, Paragraph 3, Subsection B. And it's not a human being. It's not a man. It's not a woman. It's a thing. But people don't know that. Well, it's me. Well, I don't you know. know it's, they, a, they it's a thing. They see themselves even. waving, a waving at Did you guys hear Gary right there? He said, it, I don't know if it's a thing, but it's an abstraction. The ball game and, and putting their hand over their heart to the Pledge of Allegiance, to the, the rag flag, and uh, yeah, it's me. Well, what is it? Are we they talking about the person? The you don't individual? even have to go there. You don't have to no, go no. there because you're not going to let No, but I answer. want to know. I want to know. What is it? I'm from Canada. It's a thing. It's a legal fiction. It's a designation. It's a thing. It's a fiction in law. Yes. Fiction in law. Fiction in law. But what does that fiction like purport to be? Just like a state, no, right? A, a, a citizen, a.k.a. a state. All right, Gary said right there, no, no, no. A fiction cannot be anything. Citizen United States well, no. is, is a fiction in law that falls in, since 1948, falls under the plenary power of Congress. The word plenary means the majority interests of Congress. You're their bitch. Whatever Congress says, you do. Well, again, you're not a man, you're not a woman, cannot, you are a thing. Well, no, 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 hold on. Just to, just, to, just to be clear with our language on that point, a fiction can never be anything but a fiction. It, it Correct. can never become a real boy. All right, so JT just agreed with Gary right there, but as you will see, he is going to totally contradict himself right about now. It can never be you. You cannot be a fiction, a fiction cannot be you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but there, you can. But but you can. Animate, world. You can animate the fiction. I can animate the fiction. What do you mean yes, by animate? Absolutely. What are you trying to describe? What uh, is it you physically trying to describe? You, you the court and they ask you who you are. Uh huh. You've animated. You've animated the fiction. I'm, I'm sorry. You're, you're still not helping me understand what you mean by animate. Uh, do you do you oh, mean imply that you are the fiction? Yes. Like, you're pretend? animating the fiction. You 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 are the okay, fiction. So, no, no, you cannot be the fiction. We've already established that, that physical things can't be fictional. You can, fictional things but you can, but in, I'm talking about real world in court. I've been there about okay. eight fiction. times. Uh, it's everything to them. You come into court. I know and you, that. 
Oh, okay. All right. Well, hey, I, hey, but, so, but so, I'm, I'm so trying, I can get I'm some trying, clarification here. I'm just trying to clear up a little bit of fuzziness about a certain thing. Okay. You're okay. So by enemy, you're you're basically saying share in a delusion, right? You're and you can go in there and share in their delusion and propagate yes. that. I, yes, I'm in a full agreement can, with that. You can put on the I, mask. I'm yeah, I'm, I'm in full you can agreement. Put on the with, mask without realizing you're putting on the mask. Full agreement. I think we're on this completely same page with that. Where I'm trying to draw the distinction is so that people don't believe that that implies that anything physically changes. It is just you're sharing the delusion with them and, and actually propagating that delusion and giving them encouragement to continue to delusion, right? Well, so what I'll tell you is it's a lot different when you're actually in court and you're being threatened with men with guns to uh, not I respond know. in a way that's beneficial to them. I know that. It's, it's uh, no offense, but it's... It's different on a it's different on a role play in in the ethereal uh, 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 academia of it, but in the real the world, agreement. they'll do everything in their power because the whole thing's set up to scare the shit out of you. I couldn't agree more. In personal experience and in secondhand experience and all that. So if they state if they state a name and you respond to it. You've already started the process. Started the process of satisfying the three levels of jurisdiction, a personum, venue, and subject matter. Personum All of which can be challenged at any time, by the way. Well, and personum jurisdiction uh, can't be granted by having a gun in your back. I mean, there's, it's nonsense. To oh, no. And you make that, you, yeah, you make that very clear. You, you make okay, that very yeah. clear. Absolutely. Okay, yeah. Again, not, not speaking of people who quite willingly go in wanting to uh, serve their day in court and all, but for those of us who are actually challenging jurisdiction, it becomes a different story. <laughs> right. You know, people who wish to be in court, hey, whatever, more power to them. <laughs> but those yeah, of I us don't, who don't. I don't know of anybody that wishes to be in court. court. It's funny, though. You come across people who want their fair day in court, kind of. Oh, I've been accused. Oh. I need to go to court. You know, they—they they, almost like a beaten dog. You know. Well, they're—they're they're, they're still under the delusion, though, that that they're—they're uh, they're subject to the marketing that they've been sold their whole lives. That court is a place to uh, to to have uh, both sides heard, and they deal in facts and evidence, and and they don't. Right. All courts are administrative. Justice. All of them. Of All justice. of them. Well, again, administrative kind of. Ignores the violence of it too much for me, but I get. You, oh I no, it doesn't. It, it doesn't. It doesn't ignore the violence at all. The violence is 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 essential yeah. to getting you to put the mask on. I agree with your sentiment. But I just you know, administrative is almost too much. Too much respect to pay to me. No, <laughs> no, no, no. And again, I I understand exactly. I I've, I filed the motion to dismiss. I, I and it's just it's it's gone down the road of deny, 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 deny until. Uh, in, in one of the issues I dealt with, the judge stated that, quote, uh, I was a citizen of the United States. And I'm like, ooh, this, this guy's making an argument outside the pleading, number one. Yeah. Number yeah. two, this status is very important to him because he didn't say it once. He didn't say it twice. He said it about a dozen times in, a, in, a, uh, in an opinion, a recommendation, uh, the magistrate to the, to the actual judge that can full ruling you know, uh, give recommendations he said it a dozen times I'm like this is really important to this guy why is he doing this and then uh, through study it hit me it's essential to everything it's it's at the bedrock of everything everything yeah, but why does signed citizenship matter life, everything you've signed in your life from a credit card to a mortgage to a bank loan everything has got citizen united states on it everything and they use it. They use it as a collateral buildup of evidence to hang you. So what's important, what you have to do, is you, you have to rebut that and publicly, public record, uh, publication, and say, I'm not a citizen of the United States. Uh, and uh, yeah. Rebuttal instead of challenging? I mean, wouldn't... Uh, oh, yeah, I, oh, no. 
guy I've challenged. I've challenged it. I've challenged it many times. Okay. Dismissed, so dismissed, uh, so, uh, dismissed so, anything else, anything else in court, anything else. You've not proven your case, oh, yeah. anything else. What facts do you have? Anything else ignored. Okay, I, I talking, agree. I'm I talking, agree that that's your experience. <laughs> I'm talking federal court. Okay. I'm talking just traffic court. But, I'm talking but you, federal but found you in the ass court. But you've said you've said that, that that you're you're in the position then of rebutting the presumption by proving is, that is, you're it not. Is, it is presumptive. I, I, get is, you. I understand. They, I understand are, the, they, are, they are operating under presumption. I, I understand the presumption. Okay, yep. so they've 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 taken on a presumption without any evidence of the truth of it, and you're Correct. you're suggesting that you should rebut it by proving the opposite to be true. Uh, I, okay. I'm suggesting that you should uh, say I am not a citizen of the United States. What, okay, that's what, an assertion. What offer, what offer of proof do you have that I am? Okay, so okay, so they've made an they've made an assertion without evidence. Okay, yep, which you skipped over challenging, and instead. Oh, no. No, no, I no, I know. So you're, you're, you're missing. You're missing my point. I told you I filed a motion to dismiss. I had four motions before the court under okay. threat of jail, asking them okay. to prove I'm a citizen of the United States I outside agree. the pleadings, and they ignored it. Agreed. I've had marshals show up at my door until oh, okay, I so stated me... I was not a citizen of the United States okay. and asked them to prove but, that I was. Only perfect. then did it stop. Forgive, forgive me for misstating. Let me restate that then. Um, so they made an assertion without evidence, right, that you are a citizen. And I pointed you, that out. Vividly. You made you challenged that assertion to no avail. You were not, unable to get that challenge really kind all, of addressed. All I properly. did was ask them for facts and evidence to, in support of their assertion. That's called, that, that's called that's called a challenge, right? That is yep. that is technically that is it. In, in in discourse, like in yeah, you know, the got challenge, it. They challenge ignored it. yes, yeah, cool, they, cool. They ignored it. So yeah, you yeah. you went another step, and instead of you know, in, in, and had to make a rebuttal, and you you made a counter positive assertion. You asserted that the opposite is true. I am hey guys, not. Sorry, I, I got to go. I got somebody I got to do a role play with here, and I'm past my time here. I'll uh, right come on. back on another time. Hey, hey come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. <laughs> Joe, is that you? Very, very interesting. Very, very, very interesting. Um, it was okay, interesting. That was, yeah, that, it... was, that was JT. Now, um, it's difficult. <laughs> that, I've had that conversation with JT about three or four times now. Which is why he's bouncing. And it always, yeah, and it ends in exactly the same way. Like it's very frustrating. Oh, I gotta go. By the time, it, it ends in exactly that way each of the four times. It's sad because I really try to get to that point and try to get that answer and then it's done. 